In this video, I will walk you through how I built a basic Flutter app that utilizes Google's Gemini AI for a simple text generation task. To code along with me, you need Flutter development environment set up and Google AI Studio project linked to your Google account. First of all, obtain your Gemini API key and sign in with your Google account. Click on Get Gemini API Key in Google AI Studio. From the left sidebar, click on Get API Key. Click on Create API Key and copy the generated key. Now create a new Flutter project in your terminal. Navigate to the project directory. First, install the Google Generative AI package. To install the package, run the command Flutter Pub at Google Generative AI in your terminal to add your API key and project. Create an env JSON file in the root folder and add JSON with key API underscore key. You can give it any name you want. Now let's create a screen. I am giving it a name, home screen. For now, just return the scaffold and set the size box and body to start with implementation. First import and initialize Gemini. Then import the Google Generative AI package in your code. Initialize the generative model using your API key and desired task type. Here we use text generation using the Gemini Pro model. Implement a chat session as well using the start chat method in the init state. Build some UI of the screen. Now add list view builder to display messages. And for messages, we will create a separate widget. Create a file named message widget and add some properties like message, text, and flag to check the message from the user or Gemini in the widget and then create a widget UI. We are using the Flutter Markdown package for rich text representation of the message text. Also set different colors for the user message box. Now add a message widget and list view builder. Get a plain text representation of a content object from the chat history and then extract the text from it. And we can get the role of the user from the content object. To create a nice UI, set the alignments of the column and add some padding to it. Now let's add the text field and send button. At the end of the screen, we need a text editing controller to get the user input. Add some decoration to the text field to make it prettier. Add a method to send a chat message on on submit. Add a loading variable to handle loading while waiting for the response and disable the send button. In this method, we are sending a request to Gemini using the send message method and handling the response. We will show an error if the response is null. Also, scroll the screen to the bottom after getting the response. For that, we need to add a scroll controller in the list view. Let's run the app now and see if it works as expected. Use this command to launch your app on a connected device or emulator. Oops, I forgot to add the item count in the list view builder. Now it looks fine. It is time to chat now. Let's write something. Oh, we have to update the message widget. Add main axis alignment and some padding and margin as well. Now it should look good. Perfect. Let's try to send some more messages. Yep, it works fine. Now go and create your own chatbot app using Gemini. This is a basic example, and you can further customize it by adding features like multi-turn conversations, image-based generation, and error handling. Refer to the official documentation of the Google Generative AI package for more details and advanced usage. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Policy Points for more content like this.